Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? I am here with some Atari 2600 joysticks. Yay! Um, if you're an old school gamer like me, then uh, you've always hated it when these uh, little rubber, I'll call them the rubber boots or whatever you want to call them on the joysticks, they'd always seem to fall off and you'd wind up with the little uh, plastic part to it. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different revisions of this joystick, but uh, a lot of them do tend to do that. <laughs> so with a lot of uh, heavy use so I figured I'd go ahead and kind of show you a little bit how to put these tuck these little boots back into the joystick um, this one is uh, still put together it's got four screws in the back uh, they're Phillips screws I don't know if you can see that on camera but uh, there were four different slots there for the uh, the screws and um, for the most part, you just take a Phillips screwdriver and uh, take it out or unscrew them and pull it apart. But for the liberty of, uh, for the purposes of speed, I took the liberty of uh, go ahead and doing this on before I filmed the camera. So there's the screws. Make sure you don't lose those screws because definitely you want to put this back together. <laughs> so what you want to do is kind of pull this apart and you see there, there's a little circuit board. Um, of course there's the colored wires on it right there and you see where the circuit board is attached to the by the little pegs here so you want to kind of just pull that off kind of be gentle with it pull that off and there you go there's the circuit board another common common problem is these little domes they wear out over time but uh, these seem to be pretty decent so I'm just going to leave them where they are at the moment all right, your next up you got your uh, button, fire button, and very important, don't lose that spring. <laughs> that spring is for your fire button to kind of pop back into place whenever you press it. So you want to kind of put that to the side, make sure you don't lose that little bitty tiny spring there. Go ahead and take the button out right there. Um, as you can see right here, it's got the, uh, this is the plastic part, you want to take that out too. And you're left with the little uh, rubber boot right here, which you can kind of uh, set to the side. On this particular joystick, you see there's like a little uh, ring right here around the corner, around the edge uh, right here. You want to kind of go on the back side. There's like little tabs like right here. So that might work or not. You just kind of push it just ever so slightly. And you're pulling up that ring right there. You want to kind of do it, come down here and do the same thing right here. There's like a little bitty, uh, little tab here. You just kind of want to push up on it. Not, don't, don't be too rough with it. This is 40 year old <laughs> electronics here, uh, plastic and stuff like that. So you kind of want to make it where this little ring is recessed up the top here. So basically just keep doing it until you get it to where you need it to be. There we go. All right, it's kind of uh, recessed up there. There you go, if you need to. Like I said, be very gentle with this, but if you need to, kind of, if you got a fingernail, just kind of push up on it right there. You can see, I'm, I'm, now it's got like little space in there, so you can kind of put something in there if you need to. But like I said, just be handle this with kid gloves. But basically, make that ring go up enough where you've got like a you see space in there so now you want to take your little rubber boot and kind of just this little outer edge of the rubber boot you want to kind of just slide it ease it on in there back in there kind of tuck it in there as best you can kind of might take you a few tries but having that little space in there that helps a lot so now as you can see, it is tucked in there, pretty, pretty, pretty safe and tucked. You kind of want to push on the ring now. If it's not back in there, you kind of want to through the uh, the plastic there, or whatever, rubber, the rubber. You want to kind of get that in there. So next thing you want to do is put this. Piece, this plastic uh, joystick piece back in there make sure this long part 
this long part is at the top of it that's that's the way that goes in when i took this apart this this was like right over like here <laughs> so whoever did this before didn't properly put that in back in place so you won't get your button put your button right back in there here's the tricky part is to get in that little spring get that little spring put that spring right back in there okay and you kind of want to hold it or at least me i, I kind of want to hold it a little diagonal if you want to have somebody help you do this you want to kind of get this line back up in there and get on camera there put this back into the little peg hole peg hole part all right once you get that in there just close her up like that all right pops that back into place all right and now you should be good to go and that joystick is back in there so it's not sliding off anymore i mean you can see where it's kind of it plastic piece is still under there i mean it still slides but it's held into place now because that ring you tucked it back into that ring and put it back into place. So, yeah, many a joystick I've <laughs> lost just because that little piece slid off of it. And, yeah. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, that's it for that. Then you put the screws back in there and tighten it up. And you're good to go for some more gaming, provided that the uh, little domes in there are in good shape. And the joystick button's in pretty good shape, which... This seems to be a pretty good joystick. It just uh, kind of needed a little bit of TLC to get fixed. So, I mean, <clears throat> not much, not much really um, complex in these old electronics. You know, this is a pretty simple joystick. But um, for the most part, yeah, that's it. So, you got that back into place. You're looking good and you're ready for some more uh, amazing Atari graphics. And I did forget to mention if you wanted to, you could. Take all this stuff, and while you got it all apart, clean it. Just lightly clean it. Um, <clears throat> especially this rubber thing. Usually you get dust and stuff in these little parts right here. So, anyway, that's my little joystick repair thing. You know, I'm ready for some Atari 2600 Pac-Man now. Do a bunch of gameplay videos on that. So, <laughs> But, yeah, if you got a pile of joysticks and you're a retro gamer, you know, just go through and kind of repair some of this keep you going for another 40 years all right take care guys